know how <laughs> Alexander the Great was known for his conquests, and it is believed that there was one person who was responsible for all his achievements. Alexander's father decided that when Alexander was a small boy, this man making some of mine should be something great. And he appointed a guide to him who became his friend, a philosopher, and most of all, somebody who Alexander trusted. <coughs> a man who supported this boy right from the time he was a kid till he became a man and made him that guide's name was Mentor. Hello, Toastmasters and distinguished guests. It is my pleasure this evening to speak to you about mentoring, what one should be as a mentor and what a mentee could expect from a mentor. Now, if you Remember the first time you came into the club, somebody spoke to you and then requested you to come for a couple of weeks more after which you were made a member of this club and you were appointed a member. A member who is senior as a mentor. Now what exactly does this mentor do to you? Is he there to just congratulate you every time you spoke in the club? or spoke to you offline and tell you how things are to be done is what I am going to share with you this evening. Now the first thing that is very important for a mentor is to make the mentee feel comfortable. I would like to share more of what I do to my mentees and perhaps you will understand how it works. The first time I Talk to the mentee would be perhaps on phone and fix up an appointment where they sit together and discuss things. What would we be discussing? The first thing I would do is explain to that person what the Toastmasters program is all about. The second thing that I would do to make or to break the barrier would be to give an icebreaker to my mentee then and there. Tell him or her who I am. What are my achievements in life? What Toastmasters did to me, and things like that. So when I start speaking to my mentee, the mentee feels comfortable. He or she will start bringing out things which he or she feels is very important. Now, many a times, most of the mentors do not have time. All of us are busy, so they would, you know satisfy themselves by speaking on phone and say send me your uh, speech on mail I will read it and then give my feedback you get send, send a mail back and say speech is okay go ahead and speak in the cloud no you need to sit with the mentee and first open the manual and ask what have you read in the manual what have you understood by this when the mentee reads the manual, he or she knows what the guidelines are and based on the guidelines, try to direct the speaker towards the project speech. Now this is as far as the project speech is concerned. Guidelines are given, feedback is given in the meeting and then the speaker feels very nice, taps herself on the back and says, oh, the mentor, the evaluator did a great job for me and I'm feeling nice about it. I'd like to share with you a few weeks back, Monisha spoke at the club. Now, Monisha as a speaker is a wonderful speaker and I noticed that she was always, you know, when she was speaking, she would take one step back or two steps back and again come back to this place. It was some sort of a constant moment for her. And as her mentor, I told her, Monisha, the challenge for you is to stand in one place and speak from there. Apparently, the, the evaluator gave her an evaluation which hit her heart, saying that you are stuck to the lectern, you should use the whole 
<laughs> you see the difference? Now, the evaluator did not know it. But I knew, the speaker knew, I said, don't worry. Now, the evaluator knows that you can stand in front of the lectern and speak. Now the thing is to go on to the next stage. Now this is how the mentoring action starts. Now, it is not that the mentee goes or the member goes to the VP and says, I would like to speak. The mentor can also go to the VP and say, look, so and so is my mentor. When are you scheduling this person to speak? Now, this would be a role that would make things different for you as a mentor. Now, a lot of new members do not know that you've got to contact the Toastmaster the day to find out whether I could take up any of the assignments like the accountant or the, the time manager or the grammarian's role. They are really not aware. And they, they, when you come to the club, somebody asks you, will you do it? And uh, hesitatingly, some people pick it up and the job is done. It would be nice if you contact the Toastmaster the day and say, I would like to take up the role. And this is where Mentor is role. Why don't you ring up the master of service and say, I'm take up a role in the club meeting? It keeps you also occupied in the club meeting. Now, one of the things that a mentor needs to do is to make the member aware of the various resources available in those masters. Now, many members do not know what the conference is. Many members do not know what is the structure of those masters. Many people do not know that the beginning or the inception is here at the club, but we are a very, very small minority when compared to the huge organization. You heard uh, our president and the master of service introducing me. Now, when he says you, he was the district governor, it means I was the leader in my club, I was the leader in my area, I was the leader in my division. I was leader in the district which comprised all of India and Sri Lanka. Which means every member who sits here as <laughs> member of Toastmasters can achieve that. And one of the ways would be as a mentor to encourage that member to look at these goals. Unless and until you as a mentor explains to them that there is a possibility of you reaching such a goal, the member will not go. Most people think that I want to become a better speaker and that's why I am in those masters. Not knowing that there is much behind that is available. And once they are aware, they will also be anxious to go and climb up those things. One of the things which is uh, not spoken by most mentors, I feel, is the benefits that the mentor himself has derived from his organization. I keep telling my mentees that this is what postmaster did for me. From an ordinary supervisor, I have become a manager. It's not that I just grew at that. The ability to speak. There are three strengths that a person needs to have to grow. One is a physical strength, which all of us have. The other is a technical strength, and that is our own domain. Then the third is the oral strength, that is the ability to speak. These three strengths can take you to different places. And this is where you have to find out from the mentee what exactly the mentee needs. Now, there are two types of uh, <coughs> There are those who are very raw, very, very fresh, I would say, people who are who lack confidence in everything and they have to be handled in one way. There are the others who are, for example, like Dr. Abraham, as a doctor he has joined the club. Now, a learned person like him uh, need not be told the final things about writing a speech, how to organize a speech and things like that because he is already a different level. But then how you deal with him is a totally different uh, method of doing it. So you need to judge or gauge the person in capacity of what he or she is in society and mentor the person. There are a lot of members in this club who have been members who have never attended an area conference, who have never attended a division conference, and who will never know what they have missed. Mentors are supposed to encourage mentees to attend these programs because there are a lot of learning in those things. 
You spend a day at the division conference, let me tell you, you would come back home very satisfied and say, oh my god, I missed all these things all these years. I have not missed even one division conference throughout because I know there is something that I will take back. Now, this is something which a mentor needs to know first. So you need to know the organization and help the new members. Now, the complaint that a lot of mentees uh, bring to me is, Sir, my mentor is not available. He is always busy, he is always out of station. Now, as a mentor, if you have been appointed as one, it becomes your responsibility to spend some time. Okay, um, you live in south of Bangalore and another lives in the north of Bangalore, but then there could be always one day in a month where the both of you can meet. Maybe over lunch, a cup of tea, spend an hour together. Let me tell you, it is a satisfying feeling. The way you program all your activities, program your activity as a mentor also. A new member when he or she joins the club may not be as fast as you expect them to do. So patience is something that you should have. You should keep encouraging. Uh, a person has given a speech, say today you had a nice breakup, and uh, his mentor should start asking him, where is your next speech? Or shall we fix up your day? And where are you speaking next? What is the title of your topic? These are things that a mentor company has got to do to encourage the other mentor. Oh, my mentor is behind me, let me do what I have to do. So being available, being patient, and the other thing is being sensitive to these people. <coughs> a lot of people have left the club because they have not been guided well, nor have they been mentored well. So being sensitive and respecting the individual, that is something that close masters talk about, respecting them, whatever be their age, whatever be their qualification, whatever be their background, we've got to respect that. And this is something that as a mentor, you have to be flexible and all your goals as a mentor should be club oriented. Because you are a mentor in the club, you are like you are looking at your mentee to perform. I am sure today the, the, the mentor of the speakers will be feeling very nice because the speakers spoke well. That is the satisfaction you will get as a mentor. Confidence and knowledge that a Toastmaster needs to have is something that you acquire over a period of time and you should be also a person who reads well. Read a lot and share with these people. When somebody gives a speech and says, Sir, how did my speech go? Can you give me a suggestion offline? So I'll say, Okay, perhaps this is what you could have done, the opening could have been different. They're not giving an evaluation, they're giving a suggestion. Okay? So these people feel very nice when this thing is done and they feel comfortable to come back to you. Most important thing is to be a good listener. Whilst you expect the mentee to listen to you, you also should be listening to the mentor, mentee and trying to get from him or her what exactly they are searching for. You really don't know what exactly is in the mind of the mentee, but you should trying to get out this information. The moment you get information from that person, you will know which direction you will be working on. And there are some people whose language, English as a language is difficult for them. I will share uh, the example of Rashmita. Many of you will remember Rashmita who was a member. She was my mentee. Now, Rashmita would not say Rashmita. She would say Rashmita. The show would not come. She was a a girl who studied in um, the Oriya medium and speaking English itself was a challenge for her. And every time she came to me as for her project speeches or when she was a master of surveys, I would always encourage her. But she had one thing behind her mind, sir, there is one thing which uh, you are not talking about at all, my pronunciation. She even could not say pronunciation properly. Because every evaluator in the club would bring up this issue of her pronunciation. Your, your English should change is one thing that one of the evaluators said. I asked her, after the meeting, you go to the evaluator and ask, what type of English would you like me to speak? The British English, the American English, or the Australian English? All of them have got their own way of 
speaking. So long as that speaker has been able to convey the message, I think we should take it. This is where a mentor helps. After that, she felt very, very comfortable. She went on to give her speeches with a lot of confidence. I still remember the super cyclone speech which she gave in the club is still in my mind. This is the effect a mentor can have on the mentee. Now, when you are a mentee, what is it that you expect from your mentor? First of all, you take the first step, call up and say, I would like to meet you, when can we meet? That shows your interest in what you have to do. So, contact your mentor. Okay? The mentor will tell you, please read your manual and then come to me. And then the mentor will meet me, did you read the manual? No, sir, I didn't have time. <laughs> Most of so I said, you didn't have time, just leave it together. <laughs> <laughs> I have done it with my mentee sitting and opening the manual and said, okay, this is what it asks for. Now do you understand what is expected out of you? So sharing the knowledge that you have makes that person feel nice. Then ask for feedback. Now the speaker has spoken, the evaluator has given a feedback. <coughs> person is gone or many, on a cloud nine gone home saying, oh, today I was the best speaker of the day. Was there something that you could have improved on? A mentor would know better. Sit with the mentor, discuss your previous speech, and then perhaps go in for a better level of speaking. One of the things that you should have with your mentor is to have faith. Here is a person who has been appointed by the club to help me, and I have full faith in this person. And that brings down a lot of ideas. Have faith in the person who is your mentor and discuss your needs with your mentor. This is what I am looking for. Will it be possible for me to get in this club? There are a lot of mentees who are not satisfied with their mentors. If you are not satisfied, talk to the baby he presently is me. <laughs> and say, I would like to have another mentor. As a VPE, what I will do is, I will talk to the mentor first. Do you have a problem? Is time a constraint or distance a constraint? Whatever it is. So I get an idea from the mentor and say, look, the speaker or the member of the club has got a problem because you are not able to spend time. Can I pick somebody else? Okay? So the vice president education plays a role in helping the mentee come out of that situation. Sometimes uh, mentors can be a problem. They can be, they can harass a mentor. <laughs> there are many instances where uh, people have left the club because of the mentor. Okay. Uh, in such a situation, uh, you should again talk to the and say, So changing a mentor, whenever you feel it is necessary, do it. If you want to know whether your mentor is really good or not, for one speech, ask somebody else to mentor you. Just one speech. Okay, I have finished project 4. I do not know if I am really uh, getting the best out of my mentor. Let me ask somebody else to mentor you. Now you will find a different style of mentoring. And that's where you will understand whether your mentor is really doing a good job or not. And you have all the right to ask for a different mentor. You have all the right to decide whether you want to have that person as a mentor or not. More often than not, a mentor in a Toastmasters club ends up becoming a friend for life. Many of my mentees, many of them over the years have left the club, left the country, got married, whatever, but still they are in touch. And this is the bonding that happens in Toastmasters. More especially in the Bangalore Toastmasters club, we always call it a, a family club. Where uh, we have some sort of bonding, it's not business like at all. You find a lot of laughter, a lot of fun. People even after the meeting won't rush away over. Because there is some sort of bonding. And this is the result of excellent mentoring. Many new members fail or simply left to fail because they have not been mentored well. The guidance provided may not be sufficient. It is uh, a mistake to assume that a member can succeed without that psychological support. 
I am sure you will understand that psychological support for a member is very, very important and without that not everybody can succeed. It is a responsibility of every member of the club to be supported. This is what we take up as a as a whole those masters promise to be regular, you know, to support everybody as a member. And the mentor is the first person who supports you. Well, those masters, uh, this is a subject which is very, very wide. However, I would allow maybe three questions on this issue and if there is somebody else who would like to add on to what I have said, yes, you are welcome. Any questions, please? If there are no questions, it gives me a lot of uh, signals <laughs> that we are all hungry. Other side of too many questions, of course, I don't know. Confused. What is meant oh, by confused? Yes. yes. What is meant by harassment? What would you do if you are harassed by the main team? The problem that Ashdeep has is, you know, at very odd time, Mintis will call him. <laughs> Sir, can you listen to my speech? Oh my God, I want to sleep, man. <laughs> is that your problem, Ashdeep? <laughs> well, uh, we should also know as members of the club that the mentor also has a lot of activities, and they are also busy with their own professional life and family life. It is just to call up and ask when we can discuss the issue, when we can be ready. Fixing an appointment perhaps will be, um, get away that harassment that you have in Sarasji. <laughs> yes, Powers, could you say something? Hold you till you reach 